Guys, I'm Asset Paddy and in today's tutorial I'd like to show you how you can build a super easy uh, to use horse speedometer. So I've got a few horses set up here so I can demonstrate how this works and explain to you what the mechanic behind this is. So if you want to use it, you just take your horse and ride along these pressure plates and after two seconds uh, we can stop because then uh, the speed gets measured and this horse has a speed of seven blocks per second. So as I said, there is a uh, two second timer and it gets started when I step on this pressure plate and then after the two seconds, uh, the state of the pressure plates back here gets saved in some redstone so we can uh, take a look afterwards where we were after two seconds, so in this case nine blocks per second. And I got this idea while I was watching some videos of the Minecraft server and saw that they had a concept uh, where pistons were extending and stopping the horse and you got stuck in some glass blocks, I guess. And I didn't uh, like the design because um, yeah, you had to stop there and take a look right away while I wanted to have a design where you can just uh, take a look afterwards how fast you were without calculating anything. And uh, since I'm using it with two seconds, I can do up to half a block uh, accuracy. So this horse has a speed of 12.5 blocks. I guess that for the rest of uh, the mechanics behind here, it's the best if I just show you how to set the thing up. So first up you take a pressure plate and place it down and then take uh, some signs and uh, just place uh, the signs every second block. So this one would be the zero, I will leave it away. But over here we have the one, then of course two, three, four, and then the five and then you need to stop for now because at the six the redstone starts so we place down 15 pressure plates along here so where the sign of the six would be up to the sign where the 13 would be and then next to these pressure plates we dig down four blocks of course uh, the speed of the horse can vary between I guess 4.5 blocks and 14 blocks so we uh, can't measure all the speed only from 6 to 13 blocks you can do with this setup but since the slower horses are yeah, crap anyways and the faster ones are good anyways because already a 13 blocks per second horse is quite rare uh, we don't really need the ones at the end and the, at the front and therefore we can have a nice setup to calculate the speed so if you have ducked down the four blocks we can go underneath here and take out the blocks underneath the blocks with the pressure plates and place some redstone on top. And so that's already then the trick behind this because a, a redstone signal that comes from this pressure plate in the end will have only yeah, a signal strength of 2 while at the end here when I step on this pressure plate we have a signal strength of 14. So with this we can detect how uh, far we got with the horse so to uh, save the state, we now need a three wide, uh, three long and six wide area back here. And we can just dig it down uh, two more blocks along here. So we can start placing in uh, our redstone. So we start with a comparator here to detect what signal strength we have here. Then we need to wrap it around. So a redstone dust then dig down by one more. And I guess we can just take out these blocks and uh, then we need to save the signal strength and we do this with some comparators. So um, we put the signal strength of this one into a redstone, into a comparator, which puts it into a block, which then puts it into a redstone, into a comparator, into a block, which then will put the signal strength back into here. And uh, this will just loop around and keep the signal strength saved. So if I step on here, you can see even if I go off the pressure plate, the signal strength is saved here. Of course, we need to delete this when we start measuring. So uh, we just uh, can do this by having a redstone signal from the side here to this one, because if I activate um, this uh, redstone, you can see that um, the yeah, redstone strength in there gets to zero because we subtract 15. And we can just do it by having a um, repeater here and uh, then some redstone uh, down here so we can later on connect it to the front there and also we want to stop uh, taking a look at the redstone when the two seconds are over so we want to uh, do the same with this comparator just inverted so we place a redstone next to it a block there 
and then a block here with a redstone torch underneath so this gets powered all the time and now I can't put in anything and we can only put in a signal into the cell when the two seconds are over and uh, now if we place down a repeater here we can uh, wire up both of these uh, lines at the same time and now we can connect it to our pressure plate up front there so let's just stick down four blocks here and make a little tunnel to the rest so we can connect the redstone and for connecting this you start off by placing a redstone underneath the pressure plate so I need to grab one again so here and uh, then just make a little staircase downwards and this goes then into a sticky piston which has a block on top so we create a short pulse and then a repeater on full delay then we need a little bit of redstone line until we come to the point over here I thought that this is a good place and place down another repeater with four ticks so with the piston and the two repeaters we now have ten ticks delay and we can just continue the line up to here because we have two ticks already here one in the repeater and one in the torch we just need eight more ticks to get twenty ticks so uh, two seconds and this should in theory now already be working so let's just take this horse again the nine, nine blocks per second horse and ride along here and then we should see that the redstone signal gets saved in there and now we just need to wire up a display and for the display we can grab the signal from the saving cell over here and you can do it however you like but I will now show you uh, one way of doing it the way that I did it over there you might want to wire up a digital display if you want to that's all possible but for now we can just uh, wire up uh, the um, yeah, signal over here to some redstone lamps therefore we just place a line here next to the gap and then we want to knock out the blocks uh, two below so these ones here and place a redstone torch on the side and also place some blocks back there again so we can uh, light these up with uh, a redstone torch and I guess I need one more here and then come into the back you want to knock out these blocks so we can place down some repeaters uh, facing into the blocks that have the redstone torch on the side so right here and of course we uh, then just need some redstone back here to bring the signal into uh, the repeaters so just a line of redstone that connects everything and over here we then want to have a uh, comparator facing in and we also need one here but with this one we want to have it facing into the side so we actually do a calculation 15 minus the signal that is over here so it's kind of inverted and place a redstone torch or redstone block there connect it over here and then you can see that this lights up and that's then everything there's to it basically because now you can just make it pretty put down some signs put down maybe some wool like I did over there but uh, that's it for me I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial if you did feel free to leave a like subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and leave me a comment what you think about this design it would be really great if I could read one in the next couple of days so uh, yeah that's it and I'll see you in the next video